Today we're going to patch the DSDT and SSDT on this uh, HP HD4400 i7-4510U. This is Haswell. Well, if you hit the F4 at the Clover menu, you will have the origin, SSDT, and DSDT. Or if you use read write everything, you will get the same thing but different because you have to rename it manually. So if you look at the origin, Clover extract everything. So we have to choose which one is a good one that we can use. So let's use the first one we need is the SSDT, SSDT 0. One, two, dynamic we don't use, which is the X, okay? So we use six and seven. It's going to take this one, DT, SSDT. We compile T0 maybe. Okay, so this one right here. The ECO, you have a syntax error on that. So what we need to do, we have man DSDT patch. So we go down, we will see guide. And if you look in here, you will have that. So we look in here, you will see the EC0. Just copy all of these. I'm going to see. Let's do CD, go to origin, and put this one in here. So we CD into that. Now we're going to do PB, paste, ref, TXT. Okay? So inside here now, we have the refs.txt. So we open it up. And these things should be in there. So what you're going to do, you're going to copy to the user bin, ASL. So what we're going to do now is that sudo cp usr bin. Okay. So make sure this one is the updated one from Rehab Man. CD, you're going to disassemble the SSDT and the SDT. So we're going to go into that folder. To disassemble with the ref text, we need to use this one. Highlight, alternate C. And we're going to go this. Boom. Okay. So it looks good. So we look inside here. All the DSL. I like the Mac is because you can select all of these and back into a new folder. Move them into a new folder. So origin DSL. Now we can test again and see if we compile this one and see if we still have a problem. Zero error. So that's really good. I always duplicate this one. So let's up, call this one DSDT original. So let's open it up. So now when we go to preference, we need to add this one in, which is GitHub. Copy this one. Right click, don't open it. Copy link address, okay? And then when we go in here, you click plus, and you click rehab, man, one, and then you click the URL, and you paste. So that's the one. So now we can patch with the internet, you have to be connected to the internet.
So the first one I pass is because I'm going to pass the Apple ALC dot CAX Realtek ALC 282. So this one I use from Mironi layout three. Get as many uh, layout in there, but this one is the only thing that works for Mac OS High Sierra. So I'm going to use this one, apply, and then compile. Okay, zero error, which is good. We always want zero error. If not, we cannot save it. So the second one we pass, just go down, right? We need to pass the battery. So in here, Rehabman has a lot of HP already. Choose the one that fit close to you. So on this one, I use Pavilion HD 4400. Look right here. It said x360 has well so this one here is already there so we use this one okay make sure it's the right one so when you see if there's changes that means it's good apply okay it's not good patch again keep going down so you look in here Brightness fix for Haswell, right? There's zero changes. That means the brightness fix is not in the DSDT. It's in the SSDT, so we don't patch any of those. So I keep going down. Now I want to use HDMI, so I'm gonna have to patch it B0D3. There's six changes, so that's good. Let's do that. Patch again. I avoid to use cheap FX0 to IGPU, but Rehab Man uh, definitely wants to do that, but I don't. As long as it is sleep, wake correctly, I leave it alone. This thing really, sometimes they really cause the sleep wake is not doing very well. I bypass that one. Remove power from LED. Sometimes on your computer if they have that you remove it and you when you close the lid it will work but on this uh, HP X360 there's zero changes so what I'm going to do is keep going down patch as minimum as you can so this one is I think is needed fix wake one change so I do that and then the next one is RRQ is a must so four changes so that's good and window 8 is what I use but you can use window 7 try whatever and see if it works but for this one window 8 works so apply and then the shutdown if you cannot shut down and you use this one but mine shut down fine so I, I don't use that I don't don't patch anything that you don't really need SM bus fix is a must so this one is a must okay now the next one is gonna be is instant wake when you sleep it wakes up right away so they have 0D and 6D check 0D and see if it's so if you look in this laptop if you 6D and not 0D so I'm gonna have to use 6D instant wake so make sure. But I think this is the end. So we're done with the DSDT or origin. So I'm going to save this one as 6D to remember. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to save as a CPI machine. So I call it DSDT0. I'm going to put a 6D dot AML. Or I can call it zero I no IGPU we need to patch the key for just the backlight so if you want the keyboard to work and on the um, on this one it does work we don't have to do a lot of things key now you see here two changes that's good so we want to use the the keyboard to adjust the backlight 
So file save as key so we remember. But also save as zero keys dot AML. Okay. Is the S SSD T zero, right? Pow. So we're going to save it as dot AML. Compile. Wow. A lot of errors. So the packages, the package. So if you look, this is the close parentheses. So we start right after that and remove everything until the next one, which is named PSDF. So delete, compile. Okay. We're going to save this one because we don't want to uh, patch it again. So. And then save as. Okay. One more thing. When we change the B0D3, we want to make sure we need to search to rename all of them. So SSDT also. So let's do this. Alternate F B0D3. So there's zero, so that's fine. You have seven of them here. See that? So this one must be the graphics embedded in here. So when the graphic embedded in here, what we can do, we need to patch the brightness fix. So the brightness fix on this one is as well. So we're going to patch one change. You see that? Before there's no changes. So this one's one change. This right. And then we also do this one. This is HD4400, which is ours. So we're going to do that. And then the next one we want to do is rename. This one is for the HDMI to work. So if you look in here, just like Apache 4, I use layout ID uh, 3. So I can change this one to 3. No, but the DSDT, we do it 12. So we can just leave it at 12. It's OK. No problem. So that's all we do for this. So compile. So whatever the HDAU layout ID, we have to put it in the config, Clover config. And I'm going to save as .aml. OK. So the next one we're going to do is SFDT7. That's the last one. Alternate F. Is zero, so that's good. Compile. Zero error. So. so this is done. But with this, we also need to get the speed step and turbo. So we need a software, the SSDT from SSDT PR Gen. So what we're going to do is that we're going to open this up, terminal, do exactly as he says here. So now if you go to the library, we don't see the library in here, right? So what you do is you go to view, show view option and you click the show library folder you will see it so now you open the library you will see SSDT PRGen right here see that 
So what you're going to do is this. Follow the instruction here. So all I do is I do this. Alternate C, alternate B. Want to see no? You don't want to see that. So now you have the SSDT. You open it up. Mac OS 10.13.1. So what you're going to do is going to rename this one SSDT High Original. That's it. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this one. And you go back to a patch folder that we just did. Alternate V. Okay, so now we're going to mount. And by the way, if you want to mount instead of the EFI folder, the command, okay, let's this util list, okay. So you're looking here, EFI is no name, and this zero S2. So if you want to mount it, because sometimes the um, Clover config doesn't mount correctly, so you do this util mount dv d disk 0 s2 and it will come up okay so now we open this one up go to EFI but normally what you do is you put this one to the external USB to boot to make sure that it works first right so you go to patch so you're gonna drag this whole thing over so I'm going to drag this one over here into my ACPI folder. So we're going to use the original and see if it's different, if it's good at all. So we rename it. But this config right here, we forgot to do our config and change it to. zero key now sorted order so the origin name them differently so we just do it exactly like that so everything else is the same okay let's reboot and see if it works so after patching the SDT and SSDT with the original one and the battery is working also the key for the backlight is working also that's nice now just test to see if it's gonna sleep and wake so I have to wake up everything works good for the HDMI to work go to device and set the audio to the HDAU that we we patch with layout ID 12 okay. and also we need to go to kernel and patches and we have to try all of the config that we have man patch for the HD 4400 so for this one look for the the graphic so this one is 0A26006 so this one should work and also this one so I turn on these two we patch these two. All the other one for the HD uh, as well disable. So you need to find out which one it is. If you choose the correct one, you did this one 0826006. So that's the one.